Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem. In this problem it is said that two forces F1 and F2 act on the screw I. If the resultant force FR has a magnitude of 150 pound and the coordinate direction angles shown, determine the magnitude of F2 and its coordinate direction angles. So let's say that F2 is making alpha 2 angle with the positive x axis is beta 2 with the positive y axis is and gamma 2 angle with the positive z axis is right. So we need to determine all these angles and we need to determine the magnitude of the F2 force and we are given this FR and this F1 right. So to solve this problem first we need to represent all these forces as a Cartesian vectors, right. So if I write F1 as a Cartesian vector, so F1 vector, so as we can see that this F1 is only directed along the y axis, right. So its x and z components are 0, right. So we can write that this is 0i plus 80, 80j, right. This is acting along the y axis right that is the, along the unit vector j plus its z component is also 0 right so we will write this is 0 k then we will write f2 since we do not know the magnitude of f2 and its angles so we will write it as f2 x the component of f2 along x axis will be f2 x f2 x i plus f2 yj plus f2 zk and if we add both of these vectors so they will give us that resultant right so the summation of f1 plus f2 will give us this resultant right so that resultant fr and that resultant F fr will be equal to the summation of both of these and the each and every component of this fr will be equal to the summation of the components of these two vectors right so this will be 0 plus f2x right so we can write that this is 0 plus f2x i plus this 80 plus f2y along j and this is 0 plus f2 z along k. Similarly, we can write this fr in terms of the direction cosines, right. So, so we can write that fr is also equal to, uh, we, we are given the magnitude, this is 150, right. So we can write that this is 150 cos of alpha, right, the i plus 150 cos of beta plus this is along j and plus 150 cos of gamma along k and remember that when we write a vector in terms of the direction cosine so this alpha beta and gamma these angles are with the positive x axis is right so now uh, these angles are with the positive x y and z axis is remember right so now as we can see that this fr is making 120 degree with the positive x axis so this means that this is this is alpha angle right and then fr is making 130 degree with the negative y axis right so this means that beta will be this we can write that alpha for f2 is 120 then beta will be 130 minus 180 right since these angles are the angles with the positive x axis remember always remember this point right so if this is 130 so then we will write that this is one beta will be 180 minus 130 so 180 minus 30 is 50 so this is 180 minus 30 and this beta will be 50 degrees and similarly gamma so the gamma is unknown right so gamma is gamma right so we we need to find that gamma first so now I can write this fr is 150 cos of alpha. So alpha is 120. 
i plus 150 cos of beta and beta is 50 right so we will write it as 50 50 j and plus 150 cos of gamma k so now we can find this cos of gamma right if we know that cos the square of the direction cosines is always equal to 1 right so we can say that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma this will always be equal to 1 remember right so we can write that cos alpha is again which is 120 so this is cos 120 square plus cos beta so beta is 50 so cos beta square plus cos square gamma and this is 1 right so if i bring these two terms to the other side of equation so we will be left with cos square gamma right so let me find it directly so 1 minus cos 120 square minus cos 50 square so this gives us cos square gamma right and if i take the square root so that will give us cos gamma so this means that cos gamma is 0 0.580 so cos of gamma is 0 0.580 and this will be plus minus right so we can we can find gamma if we take cos inverse so cos inverse plus 0 0.580 and we can write that gamma is also equal to cos inverse minus 0 0.580 zero so cause of the answer gives us uh, sorry cause inverse shift cause inverse and this is 0 0.580 so this gives us 54.55 54.55 degrees and similarly if i take this as minus so this gives me 125 so gamma is 125.45 degrees but as we can see from this free body diagram that this gamma is less than 90 degrees right so gamma is less than 90 degrees so this means that our correct gamma value is this one right this one is not correct so now we know this gamma so now we can plug this gamma value in this equation right so this is 54.55 degrees right now we can find all of these everything is known right so i can write fr fr vector so fr vector is 150 cos of 120 150 cos of 120 so this gives us minus 75 i plus 150 cos of 50 so 150 cos of 50 96.42 j and again 150 cos of 54.55 so this gives me 86.99 so we can say that it is approximately 87 pounds right so this is 87 k remember that the unit will uh, the units will always be in pounds right since the forces are given in pounds now if we compare this fr and this fr right so we can find let me write that this fr is we have already determined that this fr is 0 plus f2 is f2 f2 xi plus 80 plus f2 y j plus this 0 plus f2 z right so f2 z k so now from this comparison we can see that f2 x is directly equal to minus 75 but we need to find f2y from this and f2z is equal to 87 pounds right so now we need to compare only these two terms right these two components 
So we can write that A T plus F two Y equals to ninety six point four two pounds. So from this we can write that F two Y equals to this. We need to subtract this, right? So F two Y equals to ninety six point four two four two minus A T. So this gives me sixteen point four two. So F two Y equals to sixteen point four two pounds. The magnitude of the y component of the F two. So now we can write F two directly. F two vector. So let me write that F two vector here. So F two vector is equal to F two x. So F two x equals to minus seventy five. So this is minus seventy five i plus F two y is sixteen point four two. So this is sixteen point four two j, and F two z is eighty seven pounds, right? So this is F To uh, instead of F two Z, we need to write eighty seven. So this is eighty seven, eighty seven k. So this is that F two vector. Now we were required to find its magnitude, determine the magnitude of F two. So now we can find F two. F two magnitude will be equal to. We can write that F two magnitude will be equal to F two x square plus F two. Y square plus F two Z square under the square root. So this will give us F two magnitude. So I will solve it directly using calculator. So this is F two X, right? So square root, and F two X is minus seventy five square plus sixteen point four two square plus eighty seven square. So the magnitude of F two is one hundred and sixteen point zero three two. So we can write that the F two magnitude is approximately one hundred and sixteen pounds. So this is the F two magnitude. Now after this, we were asked to find the coordinate direction angles. So we need to find alpha two, beta two, and gamma two of that F two. So now we can we can write it is. So now this F two. Let me write that F two here, right? So that F two is a minus seventy five i plus sixteen point four two j and plus eighty seven k. And in terms of uh, direction cosines, we can write this F two vector is. So we can write that this is F two magnitude cos of alpha two i plus F two cos of beta 2j plus f2 cos of gamma 2k so now we need to compare these right so from this we have the magnitude of f2 right so we can write that this is 116 or we can take that uh, let me write it as 116 f2 is again 116 and this is 116 So now, by comparing these, we will be able to find this alpha two, beta two, and gamma two. These are the angles of the F two, or we can say that these are the direction cosines uh, angles, right? So we can say that 116 cos of alpha two is equal to minus 75, and if I divide both side by this 116, so this will be equal to cos of alpha two. Similarly, we can write that cos of Beta two will be equal to sixteen point four two divided by F two, right? So F two magnitude is one hundred and sixteen, and similarly, cos of gamma two will be equal to eighty seven. This eighty seven divided by this one hundred and sixteen. So I will find these angles directly, right? So alpha two will be cos inverse. Let me write that alpha two will be equal to cos inverse of this thing, and similarly beta two. So, cos inverse and minus seventy five divided by one hundred and sixteen. So this is one hundred and thirty point two eight. Alpha two is one hundred and thirty point two eight degrees. Similarly, beta two is sixteen point four two. Sixteen point four two divided by one hundred and sixteen. This is eighty one point eight six. Beta two is eighty one point eight 
81.86 degrees and gamma 2 is 87 divided by the magnitude this is 41.41 approximately right so gamma 2 is 41.41 degrees right so f2 magnitude is 116 pounds and its direction cosine angles are 130.28 81.86 degrees and 41.41 degrees so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood this problem solution kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like these videos if you people want me to solve such more problems